Hey guys, this is Mylanda, and today I'm going to do a review on this exciting thing I found on Kickstarter, Tabletopia. As we all know, the world is becoming more and more digitalized. Everything has an app, everything has a digital version of it. Well, except for maybe food, I still would like it to be offline and old fashioned, thanks. But hey, you'll never know. Maybe one day all we have to do is plug in somewhere and feel fully satisfied. So anyway, back to Tabletopia. So why is Tabletopia so exciting? Because it's a digital version for all board games. And no, this is not one of those one-off board game apps that you can get. This has everything. I might be exaggerating a little, but I'm sure the guys at Tabletopia are striving to get every single game out there digitalized on their platform. Anyway, let's see what this is about. Let's get started. So I will be... Uh, checking out a demo that they provided, Viceroy. It's a Mayday game that was on Kickstarter a while ago that I missed, regrettably, so I do not have a physical copy on me, but we will be looking at their, well, this digital version, which, which I've been told that looks exactly the same. So far it does. It does look like the, the one, the real version. Beautiful artwork. Okay, let's take a look. So, Tabletopia is still at its alpha stage. So, probably nothing is all... Like, like it's not all uh, confirmed and stuff. But, so far it still looks good. So, let's take a look. So, before we try out, we can take a look at the camera controls. Zooming out is the mouse roll. So, this is the zooming in and out. Uh, rotating camera is the right click button here we go and moving the camera okay moving the camera is the left click or the WAS and full screen well I'm not going for a full screen right now uh, spacebar is either a double click or spacebar so okay let's put it over there spacebar okay so it zooms up into this thing for you and and no you cannot you cannot flip it right now Actually, can you? Okay, double click. Uh, no, it, it doesn't allow you to lift it up and then flip it. But here we have it. See, look, it's beautiful artwork. Beautiful artwork. Looks almost like the real thing. Okay, let's. What else do they have? They have magnify, which is mag magnify the Z. Whoa. Okay, magnify. Okay, it zooms into whatever piece that you're pointing at, I think. Yes, wherever your cursor is, it zooms into that point. And then camera views, camera views, and the setting camera views. So that will be like this. Okay, let's, let's have a camera view on this. Okay, and then set it at shift two. Okay, camera number two saved. Now let's press 1, it goes back to this, and then I press 2, it goes back to this. This is very handy, this is this is very good, this is very handy, it can. So now you can zoom out to see the whole picture, zoom in to take a look at this, or maybe set another camera view to look at your own pieces, and another view to look at your opponents, which is very handy, very very good. Okay, let's take a look at the pieces, or yeah, take a look at the pieces. These are chips that you can use. Okay, so unlike the, well, unlike other apps that you may get, these will go anywhere you put it. Look, look how look how detailed it is. It, it it stacks on top of the other. It just look how look how it falls. I like the small details of this of this whole interface. See, look whoa. <laughs> really nice it will it will go wherever you tell it to go see look I can mess up my whole table if I want look at this how often can you e-rage online like this this is this is so awesome now you can e-rage your friends online playing board games <laughs> which I don't think has been done before <laughs> Well, originally, if you do e-rage online, you will just leave. Oh, look at that. They can, they, they can't even flip. 
Well, of course, you don't want to erase your friends. That's not very nice. That's basic tabletop etiquette. But, but hey, you have the you have the option to do it, and I think that's awesome. And I think what will be even more awesome if you're the table host and you can smack them on the head for misbehaving on the table. But <laughs> hey, that might be an idea. But this is the interface is absolutely stunning. <laughs> I'm sorry for the mess over there, but they set up the game for you like this. Well. Not like that, but they set up the game for you, so you can play like, like as if you would on a table, like in real life on your own table. And I really like how they don't have like a designated area where you have to put things, have to put, so you can house roll things if you want, which which I think is very very nice. But they do have all the components you need for the game, which is also awesome. And this, this is uh, for um, randomly selecting uh, tokens, I think, for for the gem, the, the, the gems for bidding. Yeah. <laughs> look how nice these are. Just look at it. And yeah, I think I, I seriously think the highlight for me in for this is. The way the tokens fall and the tokens land, it's so realistic that so far I don't I don't think I've seen in any other online uh, or digital platform of board games. The ones that the, well the ones that I've seen, oh look how it just falls and flips over it by itself. The ones that I've seen, they have designated areas where certain things go, like they have a set set rules for the game. And you can't, so you can't house rule things if you want. But and and talking about rules, the thing that I notice is that they don't have, um, they don't have like um, they don't have anywhere you can click in to to take a look at the rules for the game, which I think is kind of important. <laughs> like if I if I want to check out a new new game, and I'm not sure about the rules, I will have to go somewhere else. To find the rules, like maybe board game geeks or any somewhere to find the rules before I can play. So maybe later they will implement um, the game rules somewhere, like somewhere in this, well, somewhere in the game. And uh, I think that will really improve the experience. But this is still an alpha stage, so they might be planning to implement it yet. Like, well, I mean, implement it later, but haven't got around to doing it. So, well, I, I certainly love the interface. I, I love messing the table. Just E-Rage, just mess things up. <laughs> I love this platform. So if you want to check it out, you can check out their Kickstarter right now. They still have a few days to go. So check them out and maybe try some of the demos yourself. Try well. Try playing the game, or even <laughs> look at that, or even mess up, the, mess up the table, like me, just for fun. Okay, now that I'm done messing up my table, let's actually take a look at some of the functions. So if you right click, you get to see this: flip, lock, take, shuffle, draw, and rotate. So let's uh, let's take one. Okay, so we take. Okay, so it separates one out for you, just like that. Or you can just click and drag if you want. And let's flip it over. Flip it over is you either click it or you press F. Oh, so it flips over right like that. And of course, you can take a look close up at it, or just press uh, hover your mouse over and Z just to do a quick zoom over it if you want. Oh, it has a focus point as well. See, they focus on where the cursor was and everything else is blurred out, which is... I love this. I love this effect. It looks really nice. Okay. See? And what else can we do? Can We can, we can shuffle them, I think. So let's see what happens if we shuffle them. Oh, <laughs> that's really cute. That's very, very cute. It just 
It just shakes like that. And yes, you can draw however. Okay, let's draw two. Draw two. Oh, okay. We draw. So we draw two. We can. It's not. So you, we get to see it, but it's not exactly on the table or anything. So I think this means this is in our hand. And then we can choose one. And then. Yes, we can choose it and then place it out wherever we want. Or can we put it back? No, we can't. Yes. Just like that. This is very awesome. Okay. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me mess up my table as much as I actually enjoyed messing up my table. Now, you can check out their Kickstarter. They have different uh, pledge levels uh, that offer different things. And I think one of them, I think it's got, uh, the Game Master. They will give you a virtual game room for 100 years. You can customize uh, the background and the music inside, which I think is pretty awesome for what they have. And it's uh, Kickstarter only. So check them out. Once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.